Because on Saturday, all of these people who participated in debate will head to, I believe it's Georgia, where Eric Erickson, the former CNN uh, contributor, the guy who called Chief Justice Souter a goat effer, um, the guy who says that women should be subservient to their men, on and on, will hold court and all of these candidates will try and appear that they are, um, are very closely aligned to his Limbaugh-esque. And, and I think that would be a compliment to him, frankly, ideology. I mean, the guy worships Limbaugh. I think he has now occasionally filled in for him. He has his own, like, mini golden microphone in his house, I think. Um, look, when you have someone who is aspiring to be Limbaugh, Really, that should be a red flag for the authorities. Nevertheless, the Republicans, of course, will go there and kiss his ring. And um, he may very well insist upon uh, all of at least the legislators there pursuing an agenda which would lead to a government shutdown over the funding of Planned Parenthood. We'll also talk about, look... um, I, frankly, would like to see more tissue donation. I don't know fetal tissue, embryonic tissue donation. Uh, Women who get abortions, not just at Planned Parenthood, but anywhere, uh, but for, I guess, states that may outlaw it, I would like to see greater agitation and activism fighting states that outlaw uh, embryonic and fetal tissue donation. And I would like to see uh, more women encouraged to to opt in when they have the opportunity because these stem cells end up uh, fighting diseases like ALS. They helped with things like the polio vaccine and the rubella vaccine. They can help with Parkinson's. We've had the stem cell fight in this country. We know where the American public is on it and that we should take this opportunity to get more stem cell research and to use this to create awareness on the value of of this type of uh, tissue donation, fetal embryonic tissue donation, and perhaps organ donation as well. 